Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? What's up, what's up, what's up? What's up? How you doing? How you doing? Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be finishing the Bible reading in Romans 12, which I um, posted the first part earlier. Um, so, yeah, if you did not catch the first part, I am currently in my movie room because it is noisy in the rest of the house. So, yeah. Verses 1 through 13. Um, so we're going to finish it off with 14 through 21. I'm tired. Okay. Let's do this. Verse 14. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse. Man, blessing those who persecute you is so difficult. Like, I know that goes without saying, but like, imagine. Somebody completely destroying your life, just tears apart your family, makes you lose all your money, all your valuables. You're homeless now, and everybody hates you just because one person did something. Bless them. I mean, that's an extreme situation, but like, bless them. It's uh, it's crazy, guys. It's, it's something I just struggle to wrap my head around. who rejoice and mourn with those who mourn. It's talking about being a community in the church body, and like sharing your like stuff with other people. For example, this morning I went and had breakfast with one of my um, with one of my buddies. We talked about like Jesus and our lives and how that's going, and we were able to um, rejoice with each other and mourn with each other over specific things. Um, and I think rejoicing and mourning with like Live in harmony with one another, and do not be proud, but be willing to associate with people of low position, and do not be conceited. So, if you missed the last part, Romans verse 3 says, For by the grace given to me, I say to every one of you, do not think of yourself more highly than you ought, but rather think of yourself with sober judgment. Which I said was talking about humility. And then later on, in verse 10, it says, Be devoted to one another in love, and honor one another above yourselves. And I was saying that's a callback to verse 3, talking about humility. This is another callback in verse 16, saying not to be proud um, and to be and be humble. So it's all calling back on each other. The Bible builds off of each other a lot, and getting to know part of the Bible helps you to easier understand other parts. Um, verse 17, this one I have highlighted and starred. Of everyone when you have people out here saying the most crazy 
stuff is right. I'm not gonna go any community sound specific, but it's real difficult to do that. I don't, I don't really know if that's exactly what um, this verse means, though. Because um, it's, it's not really possible to do what is right in the eyes of everyone. But back to the first part. Do not repay anyone evil for evil. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Um, do not pay, repay anyone evil for evil. Don't seek revenge. Revenge is God's. Um, it's God's to take. And I think there's a verse like that coming up, um, speaking on that. But revenge is God's to take. Like you don't have to worry about it. If you're a Christian, then God will handle it how it should be handled. Verse eighteen: If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone, and do not take revenge, my dear friends, but leave room for God's wrath. Oh, I love that verse. It just sounds so like, like, like beast mode. I don't know. Like, leave room for God's wrath. Ah, like, I thought I probably just like real goofy there, but you know, um, I just love the idea of me just sitting back and God handling my problems for me. Like, it just sounds great. Um, but back to the first part of that verse. If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. That one's so rough, and I've, I've I tried to do that um, at the start of this year, and it, it was really difficult. But I, I think I'm I'm about there. Um, obviously not completely there, but I'm 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 getting better at it. It's definitely something I was focusing on. Um, second part of verse 19 for it is written it is mine to avenge i will repay says the lord on the contrary if your enemy is hungry feed him if he is thirsty give him something to drink and doing this you will heap burning coals on his head that's just crazy but like, i don't even know how to like break that verse and like describe it so like i feel like it's pretty self-explanatory like if your enemy is hungry give him food like, give him what he needs, be nice to him, because in being nice to him, you'll be fighting back, sort of. Um, and then this next verse I actually have, or used to have on my lock screen. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. And I have a note right there that says, use goodness as a tool. I'll just let that sort of resonate with you. Use goodness as a tool. And a weapon. Those are two good things you can use, tool and weapon. But yeah, thank you so much for watching.